What's up guys, Dad Dash here, and I'm coming to you today, uh, I wanted to talk to you today about uh, a topic, um, and uh, you know, as you know, I've been putting out videos in regards to uh, understanding gig contracts and why that's important, and it's very, very important that each of you understand gig contracts, because this is the crux of what's truly wrong with our system that we have. It is not about tips. Tips are a distraction. Every single one of you that goes out and says, I'm hunting down big tips is missing the boat and the big boat. Because what you're essentially doing is, is when you decide to buy into what the apps are telling you you should buy into, which is, hey, worry about finding big tip orders. Don't worry about your base pay. Base pay is always going to be low. You are, are missing a big, big, big piece of the puzzle. Because the secret is the base pay is all yours because there isn't base pay. So I want to elaborate a little bit on that. I showed you guys physically. I don't have the data because DoorDash doesn't show us the actual breakdown. None of that's shown to us. And that's a huge question as to why. Uber shows it to us. And they do it because an Uber and DoorDash do not operate different. They do not operate different. There is no difference between how they operate or how Grubhub operates or any of them. It's just that Uber shows the driver the actual breakdown based on how everything is actually working. And that is this. That they are actually... on our behalf in other words we're hiring them so DoorDash is you know when DoorDash tells us they're gonna pay us a base pay it's laughable because they can't pay us a base pay because they're not our employers they will they have said that in about every language every way you can say it we are not we don't employ dashers we don't employ drivers drivers are not under our employ drivers do not work for us they work for themselves I repeat, we work for ourselves. And if you do not believe me, read your TOS. And if you want to believe that you work for DoorDash, that's fine, that's, that's fine. But you're missing the boat and you're going to end up getting exploited in a big way. Now, the question is, well, what can we do about this, right? So what's the, all right, we've seen it. We see, we see that they're taking 70, 80, 90% of our money. That they're that they're actually collecting on our behalf that they have no right they have no right to take unless we sign off on it we do have a right to see it, that we should have a right to see this up front they should have to tell us what it is and what their formula and basis is for charging us that money they're actually charging us money that's what's happening. They're not paying us anything. They're just giving us the money that they're supposed to be giving us because they're holding on to it for us, taking out their fee and then passing on the difference. So there is no such thing as base pay. Base pay would connote that DoorDash was being paid directly or Uber was being paid directly or Grubhub was being paid directly, but they're not. They are simply saying, we as drivers aren't smart enough, don't have the technology to price these orders out. We and, 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 and it's true, we don't have the ability to go out and provide the technology that they provide us that is necessary to make this work. So yes, they are entitled to a fee. The question is, is, it, is what they're doing for us, really what they're saying is we're doing 70% of the work you're doing 30% of the work, or in DoorDash's case, you're doing 10% of the work. We're doing 90% of the work. Thereby, we deserve 90 to 95% of the money. And then you get 5%, a 5% cut plus a tip. And there you go. And if you can make it work off of that. Now, imagine if it was flipped around and we said, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, 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 no. You don't get 95% of my fare because you provided me the technology. Because... You know, again, 
This is where we would, as businesses, have a conversation and a negotiation that should occur. That they don't get to just hold our money ransom, which is what they're doing, and they're like, all right, who, whichever driver is willing to give us the bigger fee, we will allow to do this order. That's the bargain they're making. Anyways, I'm going to keep this one very short, guys. I want you to understand this concept. I want you to understand what you've seen in these videos. And then we've got to get a very wholesome conversation around this issue. And we've got to start talking to our legislatures or legislators. We've got to start talking to our the people in our communities that make laws. We've got to start making sure they're understanding exactly where they need to target. And that what we need, what we need is the ability, okay, to see this information and have this information negotiated up front and limited in that the amount that these apps are allowed to take out of the driver's money, which it is the driver's money, not DoorDash's money, not Uber's money, not Grubhub's money, that the amount that they can take in these instances has to be limited to a certain amount and they need to come out and publicly share what their basis is for holding on to 95% of the driver's money and how they think that in that transaction, they're warranted to 70, 80, 90% of the driver's money to which then the customer sits there and says, wait a minute, I was paying this driver you know, $30 to get this thing delivered and then I got this driver at my front door pissed off and telling me I'm, I'm a cheapskate. No, they're not. They just paid $30, $30 to get their food delivered. Are you kidding me? And, and we're complaining at customers and we're yelling at customers. Even the poorest customer that's using the service will have paid a sizable amount of money to get this service for the service and to get their food delivered to which that is held on and confiscated by the apps. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna end this video here. Put in the comments, share this video. Let me know, let's get a discussion going. And as always, guys, stay safe, stay profitable. I'll talk to you soon.